We have a moral obligation to admit the world's poor, they tell us, even if it makes our own country poorer and dirtier and more divided. Fox has a long history of not apologizing for some of the things that uh, have invited controversy uh, over the years. Um, in some ways, it helps define them as uh, different than the other guys. It may be a competitive advantage for them. Um, you watch Fox because you're not like the other mainstream media outlets. You'll get a different point of view and a different take. So instead of uh, backing down, they sometimes double down. And um, that seems to be the case uh, with Tucker Carlson right now. Media Matters for America, which is a kind of anti-Fox uh, watchdog group, um, uncovered uh, hours of um, radio uh, interviews that Tucker Carlson had done with a uh, DJ down in uh, Florida talk radio host named Bubba the Love Sponge. And Carlson made a number of rather inflammatory and extreme comments. I love women, but they're extremely primitive. They're basic. They're not that hard to understand. Mm. Anybody who answers my trophy wife is my favorite possession is my hero. I don't care. I'm voting for the guy. He certainly has not apologized. He's uh, said, I said some naughty things. Naughty is his word. And he invited people who didn't like uh, what he had to say to tune into his show. So he's trying to turn a disadvantage into a kind of advantage and uh, hype his ratings. Omar wears a hijab, which according to the Quran 33 uh, colon 59 tells women to cover so they won't get molested. Janine Pirro said that uh, if you look at Representative Omar, who is uh, a Muslim American, that um, her headscarf, known as a hijab, um, pointed possibly to the fact that she was loyal to Sharia law, which is the Muslim code of conduct. Um, uh, and is not necessarily loyal to um, American, the American Constitution. Is her adherence to this Islamic doctrine indicative of her adherence to Sharia law, which in itself is antithetical to the United States Constitution? In Jeanine Pirro's case, um, they got a lot of pushback, particularly from uh, Muslim Americans. And I think Fox no. felt that it had to uh, calm down, calm way. the waters a bit by distancing itself from those comments. Um, notably, they did not apologize so much as they said they condemned. The word was condemned. They used, there was no uh, overt apology to anyone about this. You know, opinion is not news, but uh, opinion makers like Janine Pirro and Tucker Carlson often make news by saying things that are so outside the mainstream and so beyond the pale. Bill O'Reilly did the same thing. Glenn Beck did the same thing. Sean Hannity does this. Um, they are often uh, on the edge and over the edge in terms of the things they say. Um, it draws people to them. It creates uh, publicity for them. It creates controversy for them. And controversy can be very good. Uh, it can uh, create a kind of car wreck phenomenon in which people tune in just to hear you say an extreme thing. I'm Robin Gavon at The Washington Post. Real journalism matters, so subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow the latest in our reporting, analysis, and features.